Hey guys, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Math Man channel. And today uh, I'm going to solve the problems of when Cheryl's birthday. I'm pretty sure that it's, uh, I think, uh, one particular video about this very um, beautiful Chobu who actually solved these uh, problems with her, you know, sitting in front of the camera. I'm also mesmerized, but anyway, I'm still going to solve it in a very easy manner. Uh, in a very uh, simplified way of understanding it. Okay, so first thing that Albert says is that uh, he do not know when Cheryl's birthday is, but he knows that Bernard does not know too. Well, the fact that Albert knows that Bernard does not know too means that Bernard, okay, the date that Bernard got is not a unique date, which means to say that it is not, okay, uh, which means to say that 18th and 19th is not the uh, possible uh, date and if Bernard knows the date itself definitely he knows the month and hence May and June cannot be the answer and hence we narrow it down to August and July and these are the few dates after the first sentence. So after the first sentence let us take a look at the sentence sentence whereby Bernard says that at first uh, he do not know when Cheryl's birthday is but he knows now. All right the, basically you have to think of uh, another uh, the opposite scenario, okay, whereby Bernard says that at first he don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but he still do not know. <laughs> all right, so in the case whereby he still do not know after the first sentence, that means that all right, the date that he have gotten is okay fourteen because if the date is fourteen, okay, there are actually two possibilities. All right, and he still do not know when is the birthday. So which means to say that I can actually strike off the two date, the July fourteen as well as the August fourteen, and I leave it with the last three um, possible dates, which is July 16, August 15, and August 17. And Albert says that then I also know when Cheryl's birthday is, okay? All right, so this idea of after the two sentence, all right, Albert says that now he knows when Cheryl's birthday is. Don't forget that Albert, all right, is given the month itself, okay? Then you have to think of the opposite scenario whereby Albert do not know when Cheryl's birthday is after the two sentence. Okay, the only case whereby Albert do not know, okay, when Cheryl's birthday is after the two sentences whereby, okay, okay, it is, he's given August, alright, he's given August as the month itself, okay, because there are two possibilities and hence we can actually cancel the two, okay, possibilities and left with this answer. Pretty simple, right? <laughs> Alright, Math Math channel here is it. Don't forget to subscribe Math Math channel for more interesting questions. And I'm Bob signing off from here. Goodbye, guys.